Well, you go to the native Floridian to uh, you know, uh, describe about wow. the coquinas. That's why I was looking at you. That's perhaps the best analysis we've heard all week. That, that was, was Pat, and Kaz Pat and Kazire for birdie at 11. So they continue to put the hammer down today. Boy, it sounded like great contact. This little right of the hole. Boy, that's pretty similar to his partners right there. I agree, Steve. I was hoping he would make this past year's Ryder Cup team. I think he'd be really good in that kind of format. He's got a lot of bulldog in him in a couple of different ways. Oh. Look at that. Said he and Patton are good buddies. They play a lot of golf together. Back there at Sea Island. Ooh, Ooh. snuck it in there. All of us at Golf Channel on NBC want to send our best wishes to the entire Love family, especially Davis's mom. With 253 total, you think you'd have no problem getting there, and this is a great looking shot if it carries far enough. Oh, he got a soft okay. bounce. Yeah, but it's probably a little heavy air now with that moisture, right? Yeah, my business didn't come along until a little bit later. We just watched Patton now just drop down a little swell there. Better slow it down a little bit. That's a pretty easy putt coming back up there, right edge. This is for birdie. Very little break here. Yeah, no problem. The way he puts the ball, that was pretty much a gimme. Share of the lead now. 15, Brian Harmon. We had a nice putt there. Oh, yeah. That was not an easy putt. These guys know exactly where they, were, where they stand. There was a scoreboard on the previous hole, and they're thinking they want to finish with two birdies at the very least. The more this you ball is up the left side, headed for the coquina area. It might not be that bad if it runs. See, he was going to get some extra tumble in that coquina, that crushed coquina path over there. That's actually not a bad break at all. Look at the lie. It's going to be great. And if he hits a shot here, these guys would get a couple of eagle looks at it. That Looks good from my quite right. Well, yes, sir. Whoa, it was. He wasn't that happy with it. He was asking for it to get up. Yeah. Flew past the hole. Good shot. Should consistently break in there the entire way. Nope. Yeah, it went back the other way at the end. Double breaker, and he just right in the heart of the hole. Great read. And that puts them on top by a shot. Best ball competition here on the final day of the QBE. There are some great scores being shot. Go a long way to them winning this tournament. They can get a couple of putts at it uh, despite what the team in front of them does. Thank you. Good ball. Thanks. That's an aggressive line right there. And you know, Jim, not only does Graham get the advantage of being able to see what Patton did behind him, these guys get to see what Graham does now as they walk off the tee. Just outside 150 yards, and you would certainly expect this ball to finish right of the flag with the water being left, and these guys just needing par to win. And that's exactly what this is quality shot here. Yep, exactly what he was looking for. Safely on the putting surface. For a second there, he thought he made it with yeah. that little yeah. scoot to the left. Of course, Patton's all smiles. Now, Brian Harmon for the victory. Now, Brian and Patton have each won twice in their PGA Tour careers, and now they've won once together here at the QBE shootout. They are the winners of the 30th edition. Well done, Joe.